Hi there, um, I'm Peter Thompson, just currently studying politics at Hull, obviously, and I'm just finishing my third year. A new student at Hull University, I would definitely recommend to just, just remember that everyone is in the same boat. You, you turn up to university and, you know, nine, nine out of ten people you meet are very nervous and you leave the surroundings of your own home. I mean, these are all cliches that everyone knows, oh, we're all here, but you really must fundamentally remember that. No one's going to think, oh, if I talk to that person, they're going to think oh, I'm a loser, or they're going to think, oh, what's he talking to me for? Everyone wants to make friends, and quite often or not, the best friends you make are the people you, you make when you just randomly go up to people and just start talking, because that's what, that's what university is about. It's not just about getting an academic degree, it's also about life experiences, learning how to live on your own. So yeah, that's why I just, just fundamentally remember that, that everyone's in the same boat when you first come. Academically, um, just remember that there is, a, there is a leap from A level to university work. There is, and that leap needs to be um, incorporated into your studies. Um, it's very easy, um, especially in the first year when you think, oh I've only got to get 40%, doesn't really matter, you know, I'll just scrape through this year and then I'll start in the second year. You, the, the habits you pick up now, if you pick up bad habits in your first year, they will only continue because the second year especially, when you move into a house for the first time, the experience is amazing because you're going to house, you can go out when you want, cook when you want, do what you want, and, but it's you know, the first year you, you, you should really just focus on the essays and you must see your tutors, you must. And, Whoever the person who set the essays, go and see them and go, well, what is required of me? Because we all get handbooks that say, oh, you need to do X, Y, and Z. But if you go to the person and go, look, this is what I, what do I need to do to be able to get the two one, to get the first? That's in, it's incredibly important that you do that. I mean, that's why you are fundamentally here at university firsthand to get the degree. But then the social life and the experience should come after, which it will do because with university comes time management, so planning is, is essential. Um, yeah, planning. Um, what I'd say clear about planning is, is really is just incorporate it into your day. Um, people think keeping a diary might be too, you know, oh, I'm not, I'm not there yet, it's a bit of an older thing. It, it, it's not, it's really not. You, um, you, know, you only have a certain select few lessons a week and you have days off. Just try and utilise the days off. Don't just lay into sort of like, one, two in the afternoon and before you know it, you know, at the lawns, dinner's at like five o'clock and then that's it, then it's dark before you know it and then it's raining and you think, oh great, what have I achieved today? Um, just try, no, no one's not saying you can't go out and have a great time, that's all part of it. But I would recommend that you, that you plan, think, well look, this essay is in, if I do, just break it down, you know, it's like the BBC bite size adverts for the GCSE, you know, just think, well look, this essay is in for two months. If I manage to do three hours a day just looking over my book, plan a bit of this, plan a bit of that, it will gradually build up because the, there are people that will leave the essay to the last two days because they've been too busy going out and they'll leave them for the last two days and they'll get really bad marks. But then in, there's the odd occasion where they get good marks but then when you get to the second and third year that's not applicable anymore because the standard goes up each year you go up. So from A level to first year the leap from there is, is higher from first year to second year. Oh, sorry, it's lower because it just keeps getting higher. So I'd recommend that you must plan. You must plan your work. And the best, the best way I found was coming to this to the library service um, and using it. Um, you come here, and I met the nice chap Alec, and um, he helped me through it. And I was able to structure my essays properly, get on my grammar properly because that's essential. You think I'll. You know, I'd, admit freely I was marked down quite severely because my grammar punctuation and structure was was of an A level was of an A level standard but was not of an academic standard that is need for university and you know just lazy things like not putting inverted commas in not referencing my work properly I mean referencing your work is essential I mean my housemate didn't reference his work properly and got done for plagiarism because he because he didn't reference his work because he was just lazy and so what I'm saying is is you must come to these services if you feel that it's not your structure and everything and they, and they break it down for you and you've got time to do it. Come as early as possible because if you leave it to the last minute then you'll be in a rush, you'll be in a tears and you think, oh God, I've got to get everything done and then you'll not perform to how you want to perform. This is a good example. My A-levels, I did religious studies that incorporated theology and philosophy 
music, English and politics. Now, within religious studies, especially philosophy, I absolutely despised Aristotle and Plato and all the Greek thinkers. I thought, they're not relevant, I don't really care, rah, 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 rah. I came to university to do politics and political philosophy is half my module. And, and the teaching here was so good that I just fell in love with it. I was just like, political philosophy, and now my dissertation was in political philosophy. I'm, you know, writing stuff, I'm considering doing a master's in political philosophy. Um, when I get a bit older, I'm writing references, I'm writing a book at the moment. It's, it's just amazing. I absolutely love political philosophy, and it's only because of the teaching, really. I mean, one of the t um, lecturers, um, Noel O'Sullivan, Professor Noel O'Sullivan, he was brilliant. His lectures are fantastic. And he, and he, and he enthrall, you know, you become enthralled in the subject, and you want to learn more. Don't be afraid to go and see them in their office hours. You know, they—that's what they're there for. You know, they're there to, to, to help you. So after the lecture, they'll say, "What well, my office hours are X, Y, and Z." Go and see them. Go and familiarise yourself with the books, because no matter how many books you think, oh, this essay question only incorporates three books. Trust me, these people are specialists on their topics. They will help you. They'll lend you books. They'll say, "Have you thought of this area? Have you thought of that area?" And that will get you into better critical thinking and will move you forward to get that better mark. So, no, I, I, especially in the politics department, I'd recommend the teaching there to be outstanding. I think the st um, Study Advice Centre, I, um, I think it's a brilliant service. I'm not saying this because I'm on, um, on camera, because as I said, my grammar was not very good and coming here, it's dramatically improved. It, it really has and it's just such basic things that I just did not did not use such as you know one idea for one paragraph and things like that and and it sounds pedantic but you really will lose marks um, it's it's so important it's not as easy as A level where they think well we knew what he meant that's fine it, it's not these are degrees these are because you're climbing up the the academic ladder so stuff like structure grammar punctuation it is essential not just for your degree but it's essential for when you when you get out in life because Everything you learn now, after you get a degree, whether that's a master's or whatever, afterwards, you are out in the real world. And when you have to write reports, when, you, when you've been to X, Y, and Z, when you have to do presentations to people, all of this is going to come into great use. So, no, I, I can't thank the Study of Support Centre enough for how they've helped me, definitely. It's been a wonderful service. Yeah. All I say is um, I hope you enjoy Hull University. Um, I, I think Hull's a, a smashing city, I, I really do. And um, Looks well at the moment. Looks like Hull might be in the Premiership for football next season, so <laughs> that's always an incentive to come and watch the, your teams play. But no, I'd in, just enjoy university. But just just remember, you are here to get a degree. But yes, the university life is important. But just time management and planning is essential. And don't be afraid to ask. Just ask people if you're not sure about what your essays are on and stuff. They're not going to bite your heads off. That's what they're there for. <laughs> Uh, yeah. No, thank you very much. Yeah.